round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Now we're at, boom, 11 and a half. Easy peasy. That's right. Kanara, how are you? It's great to see you, my dear. Yeah, we're making pizzas. This is my thing now. I would have never thought, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I would have never thought pizzas would become my life. And I'm so happy about it. I just, I find so much joy in making pizza, possibly the most joy I've ever had cooking besides the food truck. Food truck, pizzas with you guys here and obstinate daughter, right? So here we go. So much joy in making pizza architect, it is. Right, and I'm doing my best to come back, even though I'm working full time now, officially, as long as this stream goes good and Lisa doesn't fire me after seeing this. So I'm gonna try to get two streams a week in and then maybe you never know. What about streaming from the restaurant maybe one day? It's good publicity. Get to see all these sexy pizzas. Nobody's gonna be able to say, you didn't know. Architect, not gonna come in with a two month sub. Your ass better call On the board, Architect. Tech, the master of the garbage pizza. Love that pizza shot, man. Thank you for the two months sub. Much love and appreciation. Much love and appreciation. All right, so our pie is stretched. Here we go. We have the Graza. Right, BD and Cal, right? Extra virgin down. Some people put it on last. I put it on first. Take our sauce, margarita pizza, not a lot guys. Light on everything on the margarita pizza. Light on everything. It's about the simplicity. All right now I'm working slow, which I shouldn't do because now my pie wants to stick here. So I'm gonna have to start working a little quick on this pie. Sauce to the edges, right? Sauce to the edges. We're gonna take that fresh hand torn mozzarella I appreciate you, architect. Thank you so much. Fresh hand-torn mozzarella, right? Just dab it around. Dab it around. Salt dabs in the chat. Maybe that dab is a guy going actually not doing this. He's doing this and throwing mozzarella on a pizza. You never know. Maybe it's in reverse. Maybe I did it like a Beatles record. You don't know. You don't know. I wonder if I were to fly down to visit you, if TSA would let me bring cheese on the plane. That would be awesome if it did. Okay, we're still sliding. Now, Star Sundance, hello. I'm gonna put on the basil last because I don't want it to burn for the pictures. So the basil is gonna go on last, and then I'll flash it in the oven again real quick. This is all we need for a classic margarita, right? I know, I miss you too, Star. I am back today, and we're doing well today. We're looking at ways to bring in the stream back in the future, right? A little bit of salt. Second pizza, about to fire up in the uni. Things popping. I'm gonna get the heat up, I'm gonna get the heat up. Raise that heat. I want this hot, baby, hot. But I don't want the bottoms to cook fully so we can reheat it, okay? So I want the oven around 750, 800 degrees. This baby making music. All right, I'm gonna give my crust that pinch that I love to give. It's just a little bit of extra love. Pizza number two, classic margarita pizza. Reshaping a tiny bit. In we go. Boom. We're in. You guys haven't yet, get out there to Twitter, retweet the stream. Let's get some new friends in here. Getting ready for that. Our second front page stream. Coming up, it's gonna be nuts.
And if y'all are just joining exclamation point menu to check out what we're making here. Is it noon yet? I'm about to crack a beer. Non-alcoholic, of course. Got some good action on this one here. We got some good action on this one here. Clever way, isn't that amazing, Kanara? Gotta love the house. Oh, we're getting the blisters, baby. This is a beautiful pie. It's starting to try to break, I'm not allowing it. Not on my watch. Lots of blistering, 72 hour dough. You guys will see this. Watch the blistering on this pie, 72 hours compared to the 48 hour, much more. Quadruple blisters, right? We're quadrupling the blisters here. Okay, we're coming out and then the basil's going back on. You guys aren't allowed to see this yet. Dear God, I might have to change my pants. I might have to change my pants after seeing this pizza. Ooh wee. My pants are definitely getting shorter. Go back in for about 30 seconds. That's it. Not even. It's so thick. My eyes are up here. Everybody do me a favor. Do me a favor. Close your eyes. Pretend my voice is of a 29-year-old handsome olive skin Gianni, Naples, Italy, salt air blowing inland from the coast. Not some semi-trashy looking chef from South Carolina. I wanna get the most classic pizza on earth created for Queen Margarita herself. Beautiful, local, fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, basil, extra virgin olive oil. What do you picture when you see that? This is what you picture. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See the leoparding on the crust, the extra leoparding? Isn't that beautiful? Classic Neapolitan wow. pizza, extra virgin on top. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. So good and amazing. I'm going to take the picture. All these pictures, boys and girls, are going on my Instagram. So if you're new here, follow me, at Hey It's Me Salty to check out our pictures, okay? And let me know what you think and what I can do to improve them, okay? I'm always, exclamation point social, if there's any mods out there, exclamation point so social. Ross, good to see you, my friend. Let's go get a couple pictures. A few snaps of this gorgeous pie. Ugh. I sometimes forget by looking at this pizza that I actually haven't spent my entire life not making pizzas. <laughs> it's such a thing of beauty. You'd start to think that I'm a professional pizza guy. Oh my God, I almost dropped my camera. Oh, you didn't know? Yo, Subhype, Silent Sheldon coming in. 22 months, can we get some love in the chat? Emote spam, until I get back inside. guys here comes here comes the social link there you go go follow that instagram boys what up steady thrust i'm outside doing some food photos man today is all r d and photography for the restaurant this is so if you guys haven't figured it out yet 
This is our pizza menu. Part of it. So I got each pizza here is getting photoed on three backgrounds. Each pizza is getting photoed on three backgrounds. And then we're on the pizza number three. Guys, what should our third pizza be? What should our third pizza be, guys? Now, we're baking blind today. We have no thermometer. We're baking blind today, no thermometer. Our first two pizzas are our plain, right? Our plain pizzas. Naples, Italy, classic margarita. Plain pizza, Trenton, New Jersey. Trenton style tomato pie. Both gorgeous, a little bit more char, less blister. A little bit more blister, right? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Beautiful pizzas. Place them on the cooling rack. Let's get silent, Sheldon. I know you're always green, Sheldon. You're going on the board in green, baby. Ironheart, good to see you. Giles and Ada coming in, sub hype. Thank you, Sheldon, for the continued love, man. I'm so happy to see everybody here. It's only our fourth stream of the month. Obviously, I am back to work, and we are trying to figure out a full-time schedule, and then I'll be able to plan our streams accordingly. And like I said, we're doing a really good job to maybe, maybe, maybe uh, convince them to do some oh, work streams. <laughs> What's a Swedish banana? Thousandator, two months. Shayna coming in, 10 months. So if you guys don't know the menu yet that we're making today, go check me out on Twitter at Hey It's Me Salty and it's a list. It's also in our Discord. What about the sausage and broccoli rob, guys? What about the sausage and broccoli rob pizza, right? Maybe sausage and broccoli rob. Maybe our white pizza. Let me get the social up. Let me get the social in here. There, you, there we go, thank you, Karmic Bob. So we have sausage and broccoli, Rob. Steady thrust, by the way, how are you, my guy? Yeah, see, we are a real, like we do like Italian, like, like real Italian food, so that we, we're not a pizza place. So there's no cheesesteak pizzas, there's no chicken bacon ranch. Is that cool? We call it stoner food. Sometimes I'm in the mood for stoner food, but our, our place is classic Italian. You should make an old style Italian sausage pizza. That can be a bonus pizza, okay? I do have some extra sausage. We have broccoli rob and sausage, which is mozzarella, garlic and oil, sausage and broccoli rob. We have the calabrese pizza. Spicy soprasada, olives, ricotta cheese, and then maybe some chili flake and Calabrian chili oil. We have our Italia, which is our white pie, spinach, uh, I'm gonna do, I don't have fresh tomato, I forgot to buy it, so I'm gonna do little dollops of tomato sauce, spinach, ricotta, garlic, and oil, and then we have the parma, which is the burrata, today we're using fresh mozzarella, arugula, prosciutto di parma, garlic, oil, shaved parmesan, and vin cotto, or balsamic glaze. My vote goes to the mama salty pizza you made before. <laughs> I have to make these pizzas today, though. I have to make those pizzas first, that's six of them. Right? Because I'm doing food photography for the restaurant. You had me at garlic. Salty, these pizza pictures are so sexy, they should be on OnlyFans. OnlySalty.com, OnlySaltyPans. The last one with garlic. All right. Actually, how about we do the whipped ricotta spinach, tomato, and garlic? Because the, the one with the prosciutto, I want to do very last because I need, it to, I need the arugula to hold up and not wilt for the photos. Uh, Teth, good to see you, Teth. 
I bought a sourdough loaf with the company logo and flour to a client meeting today, crushed it. All right, so let's do the Italia. We're gonna call this one the Italia. It's white from the ricotta, green from the spinach, normally sliced tomato, but today we're just gonna put little mini drops of sauce, white, green, and red for the, for the, for the, uh, Italian flag. <laughs> only pans instead of only fans. That's right. All right, is it noon yet? Close enough. As you guys know, we are coming up very soon. November 4th, 15 years narcotics free. November 8th, three and a half years sober. When I make pizza, I like to have a couple beverages. So if you guys out there are joining the sober life, we got Heineken Zero, zero alcohol. Anybody else missing the stash? Screaming fingers, I had job interviews, but now that I'm working, the stash can come back if you guys want. Salt soda's in the chat, grab yourself a beverage. Ah, ah. There's just something about the brewski. Return of the stash, all right. 400 subscribers at the end of the stream today. I'll bring back the stash for the entire rest of the year. <laughs> All right, guys. Which dough? Which dough for the white pie? Do we want the puffy or do we want 24 hour or 48 hour? Or tw uh, 48 or 72 for the white pie? So this is the, the white pie. Puffy, puffy. So the puffy is, well, it's not super puffy. And there's a reason it's not super puffy. I didn't have bread flour, so I used all double zero flour. So they're all a little bit thinner. Neo-Neapolitan style. Neo-Neapolitan style. Right? So these are thinner, but still leopardy. So the 48 hours is kind of leopardy, and the 72 is leopardy. But they're pretty close to the same, right? They're pretty close to the same. Rolls of Ferrari, good to see you, my friend. Let's see, we got 48, 48, 72, 72, mischievous, 72. 72 takes the cake. So next one is 48, guys. Gonna go in with our little dough scraper. This is how you know the guy's a professional. If they have one of these. Twisted Freedom wants, Twisted Freedom has a 10 sub bomb today. Twisted Freedom, you're the tiebreaker. You want 72? You have a 10 sub bomb today, Twisted Freedom. Puffy. 72 hour dough it is. Puffy's the 72 hour dough. If your pizza guy is using a spackling knife, they know what they're doing. So for me, I, 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 you, ever, you ever hear that you're supposed to um, dress the part, right? Dress for the job you want, not the job you have, right? Fake it till you make it. I'm faking it until I make it. I wanna be the best pizza maker in this state. Not in the country, not possible. South Carolina in the state, I think I can do it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty determined. If your pizza guy looks panicked in the weeds, it's probably me. I'm gonna call it right now, guys. If I, if Nove gotta be top three already, I don't know, man. I need you guys to come visit me at the beach here. Taste my pie. But I want to be, so, you know, do I think I'm gonna be? I don't know, but I'm gonna work towards it because I need to push myself. My thing is I get too comfortable. Thank you, Ferret, thank you. Because what if I can get to one of the best in SC? And then I can put myself maybe, maybe Chef's Table Pizza, volume two. You never know, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Maybe somewhere down there, I'm actually a really good chef. Blood Oak, that would be awesome, man. All right, here we go. Chef, yeah, where's Annie J? Where's Annie J today? All right, so this one we're gonna do the sauce, are we doing, are we doing the white pie? Ricotta, ricotta spinach. Ricotta spinach, a little bit of low moisture mozzarella. 
Where's my ricotta? There, where's my ricotta? And then a little bit of tomato, just because I don't have sliced tomato. Maybe Laura's mom has a tomato in here I can steal. Not a good time for tomatoes here in South Carolina. The answer is no. We do have blackberries. Let's go, full-time degenerate. Let's go. Thank you, guys. We have hit our daily sub goal. We are at one goal already to getting into our bonus pies. So thank you guys so much. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for bonus pies. We got blackberry. We can do a sweetened ricotta honey blackberry basil pizza. Ooh. Dessert pizza, Ferret Faucet. I don't know. You guys get to choose. The top stream MVPs get to choose, right? So let's start stretching. This dough is still cold. Does not want to stretch, but it is getting active, which is nice. Right? Think of it as like a pie, but with pizza dough. Not bad. I'd eat it. I promise you I won't like it if it ain't going to taste good. Halloween chocolate pizza. Yeah, we'll see at the end of the stream. We're two pies down. Two pies down. We got four more to go at least, and then two bonus pies possibly. So while we are down, you know what? We can let this dough come to temp a bit, right? One hour into the stream, everybody give yourselves a round of applause. Amazing first stream back in a while. Let's go through the MVP board. At the drive-in, 13 month sub. Stumps the cat with a 22 month sub. B Dean Cow, four month sub. BG, five sub bomb. DS Grace, 23 month sub. Faster than yours, 100 bits. Eat it dads, gift sub. Gracious Patriot, two month sub. Charleston Flats, the lovely Lara, my better three quarters. Five sub bomb, B Dean Cow, gift sub. Twisted Freedom, 10 sub bomb. Karmic Bob, 153 bits. Architect, two month sub. Silent Sheldon Cooper, 20. I said Silent Sheldon Cooper. Silent Sheldon, 22 month sub. Giles Anator with a two month sub. Shane, a 10 month sub. Thank you all so much. Exclamation point, namaste in the chat. Mmm. Karmic Bob, that sounds good, man. That's his name. It used to be Silent Sheldon Cooper. Now it's Silent Sheldon. All right, here we go. We're stretching. Get that Graza oil, baby. I like pizza with tomato sauce, mozz, parm cheese, spinach, romano. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Maybe it comes from the show, Chalks. Maybe it comes from the show. Genesis Floods, thank you. It's good to see you. All right, we are tossing like a boss. Tossing boss. Not the best pizza tosser. It's all for show, right? Are you skilled enough to do hand spinning? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, no. I can do this like once, but I can't do like. Right? You missed my 100 bit drop? Oh, Genesis Floods. 100 bits on the board. Thank you for reminding me. I never want to short anybody from being on this MVP board. Get creme de lish, three, uh, six months. Get creme de lish, let's go. months we're gonna be coming hype trains are gonna be back uh back locked and loaded any minute back locked and loaded any minute i'm doing well man italian pepper salami <laughs> steady thrust coming in 90 bits mischievous 500 bits I want on to the be board you too thank you all thank you mischievous so great to see everybody. Ah, oh. it's making me sad. I've missed you guys so much. I've missed you guys so much. And I'm so sorry I had to go back to work. I tried my best to become a full-time streamer. I did my best. I did the best I could. Star Sundance, thank you for the 500 bits. Welcome back. Thank you. It's so good to have you guys back in my life. I've missed you all so much. I've missed you all so much. I've been trying to think like, what am I going to talk about with these guys? <laughs> I miss them. 
Let's get Star Sundance on the board. We training. Quinderella's here. Coming in five months sub. Star Sundance, 500 bits on the board. All right, guys, this is the start. Our first ever level 69 hype train. Here it comes. One day. <laughs> Twindorella, thank you for the sub. Five months on the board. All right, we're making our white pie. The Italia, white, red, and green. Like the Italian flag. Let's do it. Count trains like inches. <laughs> so we got these beautiful pies. They're all about 11 inches right now. All about 11 inches, right? That's where we need to be. Need a sausage, onion, jalapeno, black olive. Might be able to happen later. I have to see what we have in the fridge for bonus pies. Honestly, since I haven't been able to stream because of work, I didn't know if you guys were gonna come hang out today. I thought you guys were gonna be mad at me. Obviously, I was wrong. All right, so this pizza, boys and girls, starting with garlic and oil. Product placement. Graza. Now, we want the garlic and oil down on the bottom. If we put it up top, the garlic's gonna burn. So the garlic has to go under, under. 31 cloves and we riot. It's a lot of garlic. Stumps the Cat coming in with 100 bits. Thank you. And Lucky, it's great to see you. It's so much garlic for one pizza. This is like, let's go, Daddy. Let's go. Let's go. It's so much garlic for one pizza. It's so much. <laughs> it's everywhere. All right. F it, we'll do it all. We'll do it all. All the garlic. All the garlic. <laughs> Perfect five, 200 bits, 207 bits, stumps on the board. 100 bits, thank you guys. And gals. Thank you, Karmic Bob, my dear friend. All right, what's next? A little bit of salt and pepper, baby. A little bit of salt and pepper down first. No vampires bothering me, no. That's a good thing. You know, it's almost Halloween. It's almost Halloween. This will keep the vamps away. Brody's birthday is on Halloween, guys. He's gonna be 10. Brody's 10th birthday, Halloween. Insane. All right, so let's stretch. All right, now I don't know how we're gonna do this at the restaurant but I know how I'm gonna do it here. Today's gonna be Clumpy McClumperson, okay? A Little bit of Clumpy McClumperson here. So actually, I'm gonna take sliced mozzarella. Put the, this is brilliant. Everybody, come on in, quick. Garlic and oil down, sliced mozzarella to cover the entire bottom so it doesn't burn. Then the ricotta and spinach and tomato on top of the sliced wow. mozzarella. That's some big brain energy. Ugh. I am not a smart man, but this, this is a good idea, Salty. This is a good idea. <laughs> wow. Five head. Yes. Yes. We don't want that garlic burning. We just wanted to get it nice with that raw garlic taste on pizza. Ugh. Ugh. Don't get any better. Right? I snacked earlier, and for some reason the universe told me, don't snack too much. This is why. I have just enough. Just enough. I'm one, one piece short. One piece short, Mama Dukes. That's okay, look. Mops down first. Trap the garlic, right? Here comes our spinach. I sauteed it this morning. Make sure before you put spinach on a pizza, 
You gotta squeeze it, get rid of the excess water. I already did most of it. Thank you guys for the little mini train. Thank you guys for the little mini train. The garlic gods came down and said, hold my son. Okay. I should have taken the stems off the garlic. I didn't. This pizza is going to have a little bit of like a corny look to it, but it'll still be like, because we want it to be identifiable. I'm not going to make it all abstract. It's going to be a little corny, like five pieces, five pieces, you know. Oh, Laura, welcome back. Laura, do you want to see the first two pies? We've only made two pies. We've been having fun. Trenton tomato pie. Gorgeous. Ready to go. The margarita. It's a definition of margarita. Perfecto. Now we're making our spinach, our white pie. Spinach regal. The spinach regal. Right? The spinach and regal here. You guys like corny? Perfect. And this pie is for you. See what I mean? How it's like, yeah. Let's get that ragout. And then little dollops of tomato, light. I want to make canels. Anybody here know what a canel is? Anybody here know what a canel is? I don't think I can do it. I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Little a uh, little ricotta canel. It's like a teardrop oval. <laughs> Not a canal. <laughs> so we're going to canal. Q-U-E-N-E-L-L-E. Quinell. So we're going to quinell as best we can our ricotta. Not the right container or spoon for it. I think it's gonna be a sexy pie. I, I truly do. Maybe I'm taking the 90s and making it hip. Making it hip again. The boss is here, hanging. Thought I heard a raid sound. What is being spooned again? Got some fresh ricotta. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese, getting a little bit of salt on the ricotta cheese, right? A little bit of black pepper. Hi, Ringo. Got to move, bud. A little bit of black pepper on that ricotta cheese. Going to go in with a little bit of tomato or tomat, right? Sauce tomat. This is one of the pizzas that, like, if you showed this to, like, a 75-year-old lady, she's going to flip shit. <laughs> and then, of course, more extra virgin olive oil. What do you, Stumps, what do you mean, Stumps? This is supposed to be like, because there's only that many. It's not like it's a huge pizza. That's for the whole pie, right? So it's just so it ha all has a little bit. Now, like I said, this is just for the visual. We'd spread it at the restaurant, right? You guys ready for this? Hot pizza oven. Oh, Stumps, yeah, this is. Gotta remember, this is a different type of pizza, Stumps. This isn't Domino's, where everything's covered in cheese, right? There's four pieces of cheese, five pieces of spinach. This is like artisan-y pizza. I'm an artiste. I'm not, but I try. And it's gonna melt a little bit in the oven when it cooks, right? Let's see how this one looks. It could be awesome, it could be terrible. Let's find out. I'm gonna so fire it in the dark. oven. I'm gonna fire it in the oven and turn down the heat. I want the stone hot for this one, but I don't want the flame too hot because I don't want it to burn the spinach, right? So I want the stone hot. 
I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. This one's gonna be a less leopardy and more controlled pie. Purposely. So it's in it goes. It's in. It's in there like swimmer. I think the spinach needs to be more spread out, but we shall see. Laura, yeah, but this is like I said, this is just for a photo. But normally the spinach will be spread out. Maybe I'll make a second one if I hate it, you know? So far, it looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So far, it looks pretty awesome. Let's get Ringo some treats. Ringo's hanging around for treats, guys. Exclamation point, exclamation point jackpot in the chat. All right, we got the treat jar here. Exclamation point jackpot in the chat if you guys wanna give Ringo some treats today. He's being a good boy. Yeah, one freebie, bud. One freebie. Come on. This pie looks good. This pie looks good. You got another tree, Ringo. You got a jackpot. Star coming in with a jackpot for the boy. artiste look at this crust look at the leoparding on the crust it's a thing of fucking beauty it worked it worked ah. 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 oh man imagine i started making pizzas 25 years ago i could be doing something here ah. Ah. don't forget to tip your servers ah. I wasted my life. Come here, Ringo. Come on over. Get your treat. There you go. Jackpot from Star Sundance for Ringo, the blind boy. Wow. That one's for you, chat. I did that for you. Imagine I hit a home run in the playoffs, right? And I was coming around third base. I'd be going like this right now. It's never too late. I'm going to become a pizza guy. It's never too late. I'm becoming a pizza guy. That's right. It's never too late. The 40 year old pizza prodigy. <laughs> I'd be competing with like 20 year olds. Look at that. Look at that dough. Creme delish, I'm a chef. <laughs> I'm taking a break from the degree. I'll, I'll finish it in a month or two. But I'm going back to chefing with a friendly schedule and I'm making pizzas. As a matter of fact, this right here, this is what you can get when you come see me at work. Annie J said chef. This is our spinach and ricotta pizza. Time for some pictures, I'll be right back. Time for some pictures, I'll be right back. Pie number four. This is one sexy pizza. <laughs> this is one sexy pizza. I ain't gonna lie. I'd like to order one, do you deliver? Now, mischievous. I mean, there's a price for everything, right? I mean, what if you guys are like the Bill Gates of your country? You guys can feel free. Drop a $5,000 tip in the chat. I'll fly this uni on over there. I'll be your personal chef for a week. <laughs> if I was rich, if I was rich, I'd do it for free. One day. So this pie is gonna get some sliced tomato on it eventually. Not right now, but at the restaurant.
So I got three different backgrounds I'm taking these pictures on. What do you guys think? Spam the chat if you think my coworkers are gonna be excited to see these pizzas. Spam the chat, some emotes if you guys think the coworkers are gonna like these pizzas. Now we gotta start thinking about the next pizza. And you guys notice the longer the dough sits out, the longer the dough sits out, the longer the dough sits out, the more leopardy it gets, right? It was the right choice, Twisted Freedom, 100%. Now it's all gonna start looking like this because it's at room temperature, it's no longer cold. So now we don't have to choose between the doughs. The doughs are all set now. Now we just choose the pie we're gonna make. All right, pie number three is done, three down. Three to go, possibly five to go. Three down, three to go, possibly five. What's your favorite pie so far, guys? Can you make a Chicago pizza? Um, I, I don't, I've never tried making Chicago pizza. There, and there's one reason I've never tried making Chicago pizza. It's because I never wanna eat Chicago pizza. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, white what? What are we white? White what? White pie? That was a white pie. Oh, the white pie was your favorite so far. See, I'm losing my head. White pie was your favorite so far? It was pretty good, right? Neighborhood, now Chicago neighborhood pizza high vibe, Mike, is like a thin crust pizza. And I do enjoy that, but I don't like Chicago deep dish. I am not a fan of Chicago deep dish. It's not my favorite. It's just so heavy, it's so heavy. My favorite thing about pizza is it's thin, right? I made Chicago pizza the other day. My lasagna was so good, exactly. Now, every so often, I'm gonna say I've gotten Chicago deep dish pizza three times in my life, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But I'm never in the mood for it. I will eat this every day, but that I can't do. Yo, what you talk about, Willis? What's up, my guy? Willis, have you seen our pizzas yet? If not, I'll show you what we got so far. Beautiful pizzas. Beautiful pizzas. We are half, oh, look at this. We're almost to our, we almost got all three goals done. Not yet, all right. So we started out with the Trenton, New Jersey, the classics, Willis. The Trenton style tomato pie, right? Just a plain pizza. Trenton style tomato pie, thin and crispy. And then we transformed ourselves to the Queen Margarita, right? A beautiful, traditional, plain pizza. And now we just did our third pizza, which was our Italia. We haven't added the sliced tomatoes, but this is our spinach and ricotta and garlic pizza. Look at that. Spinach, ricotta, and garlic. The dough is finally getting warm, so it's starting to leopard like crazy. Yeah, that's the white pie. That's the Mama Salty. This is what Mama Salty eats when we go out. Mama Salty eats this. You have no idea how bad I want to taste that tomato pie. Oh. Karmic Bob, thank you for the bits, my friend. Oh, and Lucky, thank you so much for the bits, my friend. We're on our way. We have three more pizzas at minimum. When we hit our trifecta goal, we got two bonus pizzas. Chat will choose. I'm excited. I made it home. Excellent. Excellent, Blood Oak. Let me go through my list. Classic, done. Margarita, done. Our Italia's done. I think it's time to make our Calabrese pizza. Calabrese. This is gonna be a red base. Now, in the restaurant, Lisa, are you still there? 
<clears throat> I appreciate it, Twisted Freedom. You're beyond kind. I definitely think you should bring pizza for coworkers. Thank you, Miss Choppies. Miss Choppies, I love it. Happy staff and all that. Miss Choppies, do you happen to be one of my staff? And is that why you're doing this? <laughs> no, it's a good idea. I'm ready to bring some to the... <laughs> I'm ready to bring some to people at work. I got boxes. Look, Miss Choppies, I got boxes ready to go. So I'm going to bring one. I'm going to bring a half of each pizza for the workers. Half of each. Uh, Miss Choppies, who is it? I'm going to bring half of each pizza for you guys. The other half stays here for me. So six pizzas, three halves, three boxes coming for you guys. Better than Santa. Yeah. St. Nick or St. Nick Frags. I'd pick this any day. Full-time degenerate. You got it. All right. So now you can see it's starting to get nice and bubbly. So we're going to get some crazy active puffy doughs now, right? Hopefully with a lot of leoparding. Richard Bam coming in with the raid. No, I cannot ferret. No, I cannot. After the whole swatting incident and being on every single news outlet throughout the world, it's time for some privacy. <laughs> Miss Choppy, welcome to the sub. Squids with the gift sub. Raiders, welcome. We're making pizza pies up in this bitch today. Ringo, let's go. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Squiggies, for the gift sub. Richard Bam, my dear friend, how are you? Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better call somebody. Geek Boy, coming in. 14 months from Geek Boy. Welcome back to the subs, my friend. All right, Raiders, you guys want to see some pizzas we made? And then we're going to get to our fourth pizza. Welcome to Buca de Peppuccini de Salty. My name is Salty. I'll be taking your order, please. Aspinator, hello. We have our Trenton, New Jersey style tomato pie. Trenton, New Jersey style tomato pie. That's a plain pizza. We have our Queen Margarita, the classic Italian pizza. Classic margarita. We have the spinach and ricotta leopard style pizza. Mm. Oh my goodness. I heard the buca. We have our oven. That's where we cook our pizzas, Raiders. I know you guys can see it over there. No more walking outside. This is the only place on Twitch where there's a pizza oven right outside the window. So welcome. Here's the whole kitchen. Ringo's just hanging. Let's get cooking, pie number four. Hi, Ringo. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna make uh, some good photos. Trying to get that uni sponsorship, right? All right, so here we go. I see a jack-o'-lantern. Really? On the fridge. <laughs> oh, I messed up this dough. Let's try to re let's try to reshape it here. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. On the porch? I don't even see a jack-o'-lantern on the porch. My dough is starting. Okay, we're gonna have to start working here, guys. My dough is starting to give up on me. My dough is starting to tighten up on me. This is where it gets tough. Got him. You guys got me. Paint it with belted butter, sprinkled with crystal sugar, drizzled with chocolate and caramel, raspberry, blackberry syrup. I like it. I was just saying earlier today, Star Sundance, I have ricotta. I have blackberries. All right, we're gonna try to fix the shape of this one by pulling the crust, right? Evenly distribute the dough. For some reason, it's springing back which means we are prosciutto. We're getting prosciutto. We're getting prosciutto. Pinky, hello. I used to make a prosciutto peach 
caramelized onion and blue cheese pizza when I was a teenager, back in the 90s. That was like my first like cool creation. I think I came with that in 99. All right, so this is gonna be a wonky pizza, guys. My dough is starting to die as it's been out for like two hours now. And I just did a poor job of stretching it. I love blue cheese. I love it. I live for blue cheese. Man, this is gonna be ugly pizza. At least we got three good ones. Now my dough is starting to, starting to tighten up. This is bad. This is bad news bears. I even just tore a hole in it. Not good. I wonder why. I wonder why. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Oh yeah, for sure faster. See how it's starting to get a hole? It's all right, we'll fix it. Show you guys how to fix it. Fold it over like this and you smash. Man, I was hoping to get more pictures. I should have, I'm gonna start rushing through these first, these next two pies. I gotta get these pizzas looking good. So this one might be small, but I gotta get pictures today. All right, Ringo, you gotta move, bud. Please, out of the kitchen. You gotta move, I gotta start working here. Where the hell did I put the menu? You know what, I might move this dough. I might move this dough. Try to save, try to get a better one. All right, guys, we're gonna start working quicker here. <laughs> nice, Squigs. I like it. The angle and the lighting. All right, next pizza is gonna be our soprasada, our olive, more ricotta. But we're gonna do a red base. Mozzarella, soprasada, olive. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start working a little bit quicker here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be really sad. And then we'll do the sausage and broccoli rub. one's gonna get a little bit of smoked. Actually, we'll save the smoked provolone for the sausage broccoli rob. I think it sounds pretty good, right? <clears throat> Richard Bam, are you still there? I don't know if you had to run, but it's so good to see you. We did blue cheese pizza last time. We did a pear, walnut, and gorgonzola pizza. That was incredible. Incredible. We put a little bit of vin cotto. Vin cotto is just a bougie, Essentially, it's just a bougie um, balsamic glaze. Instead of vinegar, it's wine. So it's just more expensive balsamic glaze, right? I like to take my pictures head on. The high C length issues is, you know, the dough size. <laughs> PD and Cal, see, we think alike, man. We think alike. Neapolitan pizzas are smaller, but they're sexy. Small, hashtag, Neapolitan pizzas here with Hey It's Be Salty. Hashtag because small is sexy. <laughs> Vicariously, great to see you. How are you today? We're back in business. We're back in business. Let's get some of that semolina, right? Onto our peel, get stretching. Okay, we're gonna go olive oil always. Laura, hello, Laura's hungry. Laura, half the pizza's going to the restaurant, the other half stays here with us, okay? Got the extra virgin, our salt. We don't need a lot of salt with this because we got the soprasad going down. Okay, so this one's gonna get a little bit of ricotta as well, but 
we're gonna go with sliced mozzarella first. Half goes to the restaurant, Laura. Half stays with us. That's fair. I'm not an extra virgin. <laughs> You've been lying to me. <laughs> Mozzarella cheese going down. We were waiting for marriage. <laughs> Snort. Okay, our soprasad. Our soprasad here. Actually, I should put this down first. Soprasada, or you can use like capicola. Copa, prosciutto is going on the next pizza, guys. Or the, the last pizza is getting the prosciutto. But I want this to have a lot of this soprasada, okay? So down it goes on the bottom. Toppings always on the bottom so they don't burn, okay? We don't want these toppings to burn. We want the cheese to act as like, oh, let me taste this, right? We want the cheese to protect it. Hey, yo! Extra virgin olive oil, also known as extra Call of Duty player oil. <laughs> hey, Go oh, Valkyrie, hello. Thank you, Squinch, for the bit. All you COD folks, this pizza's for you. I'm excited to bring these to the restaurant for the folks. I think they're gonna love it. All right, we're gonna take these olives here. Oh yeah. Hi Ringo. Hi Ringo. Ringo's being so cute today. Olives guys. We want to get off all the excess liquid. Now, I'm doing these pizzas. Bless you Ringo. I'm doing these pizzas with sauce on the top because it looks good. Claire Coffee, hey. It's pizza time. This is research and development for the restaurant. I'm back at work, Claire Coffee. I did the wannabe full-time streamer thing for the last two, three years. I'm back in the restaurant <laughs> doing my consultant chef work. And this is some menu photography going on today. On go the olives, All right? On go the olives. Let's get a little bit of our tomato sauce. A little bit of our tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be back. So we got some nice pizzas today, right? We got our classic Neapolitan, the plain pizza. Everybody loves the, the classic Neapolitan. We have our ricotta and spinach and garlic pizza, right? This is our spinach, ricotta, and garlic. We got the beautiful leoparding from cooking in the uni pizza oven, you know? This one is our soprasad, our mozzarella, our olives, and I'm going in with a little bit of tomato sauce here. Way lamb, good to see you, way lamb. Just little dollops of sauce all over. Sauce on top, just gives it a nice look, right? This is the way I like to do pizza. A little bit different than everybody else because naturally that's how I always have had to be. It's an issue I have that I must work on, but I always have to do things just a little bit different. I think this pizza deserves some parm. I think this pizza deserves some parm. First, the cheap stuff. I'm in Iowa at the moment. Crust looking perfect. Yeah, this is our 72 hour dough. We're gonna take some grated, finely grated parm. All right, finely grated parm. And then when it comes out, we're gonna give it the, uh, the old real stuff, right? Hit it with some hot spice as well. How about some hot honey on this one? How about some hot honey on this one? And now, as we do here and only here, let's go ahead and cook pizza right in our outdoor living room, right through the kitchen window. I love this. What could we call this, guys? What could we call this? Isn't this amazing? What do we call this? This is baby making music, not this newest song. This one gets skipped, I don't like that one. What do we call this, the window love? Window of love, right? 
I think this is gonna be a sexy ass pizza. I ain't gonna lie. In and out pizza. Canna, what's up, Canna? I like that. I like that. Call it love butt. I just meant the window. I meant the window. Window love. Yeah, that's what you do in prison when you go like this, whatever's visiting you, and you put your hand up to the window like this. The pie hole. Glorious pie hole. I'm gonna fire up the temperature a little bit. I wanna get some more heat. I wanna get some more heat on these pies. Neo Neapolitan pizzas with Hey It's Me Salty and the Salty Army. God, I love my job. Would you guys be interested in watching me live streaming making pizzas at work? We want this one to have a nice char, right? It's the perfect fit. It is. Yeah. All right. Keep bringing that love. I'll talk the bosses into it. I'll talk the bosses into it. Steady Thrust says, hell yeah, I want you to. Put one of those in a box with some dry ice and mail it. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Oh, you didn't know. Who's that, Mr. Design Cooks? You ass better call somebody. 420 Steady Thrust. I gotta wait or I'm gonna burn this pie. This one needs some green on it, but. Double 420 blaze it. What's better than one 420 double 420 blaze it? Spicy soprasada, black olive, looking good, right? Nice classic pie, crispier crust. You guys, you see the, you see how it's leopard on the crust? The bottom should look the same way. We're there. We're in there like swimwear. Look at the beautiful crust in the leoparding. Tell me. Now, the reason I'm playing around with doing this leoparding stuff, when you see a pizza that looks like this, aren't you intrigued by the crust, right? Aren't you guys intrigued by that crust? So steady thrust coming in, two 420 blaze. I'm a floppy crust girl. That's why the Neapolitan is for you. Watch this steady, uh, watch this stumps, right? We hit that daily bit goal, baby. Did we? Oh, baby. We did it. Thank you, guys. Daily sub goal. Daily bit goal. Our fourth stream of the month. That's it. You guys are amazing. Who do we have as our sub hype? Who do we have as our sub hype? It is Mr. Design. How are you, my friend? Three months for Mr. Design on the board. We are done four pies. We have two to go. Ringo's just sitting here. Beautiful. I want to put some basil on this one. I want to put a little bit of basil on this one and hot honey, but the hot honey will go on for the picture. Actually, I guess it's going on now then. Smaller basil leaves, hot honey for the picture, okay? Smaller basil leaves, hot honey for the picture. You think you'll get a few more subs before I get home? It's been a good day so far. Oh, thank you, Lara. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Dropping basil everywhere. One 
One more leaf. One more leaf, guys. I can go get this picture done. Found it. All right, doesn't that look nice with the basil? Yeah, the hot honey's gonna give it a sheen. Barry Rhubarb, hello. So let me go get a picture of this. Boys and girls, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, we're so close to 10,000 followers. Make sure you guys go do it. We're like 600 away. Do you rest your dough 48 hours? I do 72 hours. 72 hours. So this one's gonna get, oh wait. I have to do photos with ODP. This one's gonna get Calabrian chili oil and hot honey. So let me go do those pictures. Guys, I have chat outside, so keep on chatting. I gotta move this pizza so Ringo doesn't eat it. Vote in the poll, please. Vote in the poll. <clears throat> well, it's not if I want to do it or not. See, this is where you got it wrong. It's not if you guys, it's not if I wanna do it. Of course I wanna stream from work. We need to bring that damn hype so I can say like, look what we can do. We can, we can do this from work and promote our business, right? We gotta convince the bosses, exactly. Don't even worry about voting in the poll. You guys are putting on a good showing so far. All right, so three shots. It's three shots of this pizza. Definitely one with the Calabrian chili oil first. I'm gonna put the bottle right next to it because I owe them. They sent me this for free and then I had to take a break from streaming so I need to get them a free pro uh, promo photo. And then we'll do the hot honey as well. Oh my God, this is such a nice photo. It looks so good, I can't even like tell you. Oh my God, oh my God. Chef John, what up man? Chef John's one of my coworkers, guys. Show him some love in the chat. And Chef John, I'll come show you these pizzas. They are bonkers. Bonkers. So this one has Calabrian chili oil and hot honey on it. That's my little addition. If both of these companies don't use this pizza, if both of these companies don't use this pizza for promo, I'm going to be absolutely shocked because it is so good looking. It is beyond my usual means. Oh my God, it looks so good. So good. Chef John gets to eat this stuff, yeah. Give me one second, I'm gonna try to do a cell phone picture here. It's not gonna do it justice, but you guys will get the idea. Damn. Yeah, these pies have been bonkers good. These pies have been bonkers good. I'm just doing it on three different backgrounds so we could use it for three different days social media posts. Those photos are done. Hot honey. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ringo's trying to go up on the couch. So here's what it looks like now, guys and girls, without the hot, with the hot honey and the oil, right? We got two more. One, two, three, four. We got two more at least. So this is the cell phone picture unedited. Cell phone picture unedited and not very well taken. It's a nice looking pie. Two more. I don't need it. No, no, no. I don't need a good phone camera. I got my professional cameras. I just wanted to show you guys a picture before it actually goes on the gram because I know 90% of you guys aren't going to go follow me on Instagram. But that's where the picture's going. Whew. 
All right, next pizza, sausage and broccoli Rob. Where is Nove gonna be based? Right where I'm at. I live in South Carolina. This is our sausage and broccoli Rob pizza. Laura, have a good one. Sausage and broccoli Rob coming up. Yeah, it's time for the Rob. Love you too, Laura. Love you too. Laura's excited for these pizzas. I'm so sad like I can't eat these till dinner time because then she's not gonna have a chance to eat them. I know, I know Stumps. So we'll see, we'll see what they say. I know you have Twisted. I'm just giving you guys a hard time. I'm just really pushing towards that 10,000 mark because at that 10,000 mark, I can start a brand, right? We can start a brand. We can actually start getting some like real deal sponsors going on, you know? Right now we're a, a nano influencer. We can move up from nano to micro, <laughs> which could be big, you know? Look, we already got front page on Twitch. You know, we got another Twitch two hour front page stream coming in December. It's gonna be nuts. Have you made a cauliflower crust? I absolutely have not, and I absolutely never will. Chef time, says Laura. I'll leave somebody else to make in the cauliflower crust. I eat pizza because I love gluten. I eat pasta because I love gluten. I make bread because I love gluten. I'm sure I could, and that'll be a challenge. Exclamation point support. If you guys want a challenge, you guys can collectively make it happen as a whole, I guess. All right. I'm not into that like fake bread stuff, like almond milk. It's just almond juice, right? Right? I'm not into that almond milk. Don't call it what it is. Don't call it what it's not. It's like a salmon burger. It's not a salmon burger. It's a salmon patty sandwich. A burger is made from ground beef or ground meat, <laughs> right? <clears throat> But I'm sure it would be fun to do. I'm sure it would be a good, interesting stream. It would be very informative for all of us. But then the thing is, I want to eat this. I don't want to eat cauliflower crust. I'm sure it's good, though. You know, I'm sure it's good. Our dough is beautiful right now. This is going to be our sausage and broccoli Rob pizza. This one's going to get a little bit of smoked provolone, right? Anybody here ever been to Philadelphia and had a Philadelphia... Yeah, it's like a flatbread. There's nothing wrong with flatbreads. This is a pizza stream, but there's nothing wrong with flatbreads at all. At all, Zerudo. Anybody that ever been to Philadelphia that had these famous sandwiches? It's like pork, broccoli, rob, roasted peppers, and provolone. Ugh. Don't gotta threaten me with a good time. So I wanna kinda make something like that. I'm gonna clean my stone. It's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna clean my stone, it's a little bit dirty. That's just from the semolina. So we just have to sweep it out. That's on the bottom of our peel. The more you leave, just the more char you get. It's hard to do on stream because I have no room here. So I'm gonna do the best I can for now. So in comes our sausage and broccoli Rob pizza. This is gonna get smoked provolone on top, mozzarella base, right? Mozzarella base. This pizza's a little small. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. A little bit more stretchy stretch. We. Okay, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of, that's it. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the bottom. Mozzarella going down. Mozzarella going down. Kind of acting as a base for our pizza. This is a lot of cheese on this pizza, and I'm okay with that. All right? So we have our sausage here. Actually, let's do our broccoli rob first. This is our blanched broccoli rob. Broccoli rob, also known as rapini, right? It's like a bitter green. Mm. I put it in boiling water, heavily salted boiling water for two minutes. 
called blanching, and then I shocked it by putting it in the ice water. And what that does is it cooks it, and when you shock it, it sets the color, this vibrant green, okay? It's called broccoli rabe. It is a bitter green, right? It's a bitter green, and they, it is one of my favorite things. We love it. I don't know if it's more, uh, more, I think it might be more popular in America than it actually is in Italy. I've never been to Italy, so you can't hold me responsible for that statement. But Italian Americans, at least I know this, Italian Americans love this shit, right? Relax, Ringo. How do you go about reheating these for dinner? Pizza stone, conventional oven, 400 minutes until the cheese bubbles. Now there's a lot of stems on this, which is not good, but I'm gonna cover them up with the sausage, okay? I'm gonna cover the stems up with the sausage. Okay? So there's our broccoli, Rob. Cruix, good to see you, man. Shocking vegetables, poor things. Here's our Italian sausage, okay? I just cooked it. I feel like you have too much green. It's possible, but I really want it to stand out for the photo because all these pictures are for the photos. So like maybe I wouldn't make them like this in the pizzeria, but I really want them to like pop so people understand what they're getting because we're gonna use these photos as promotion, you know? So there we go. Sausage, broccoli, rob, and now we're gonna take that smoked provolone. Southern Comfort Pizza, yeah. Okay, we're gonna take this cheese here. This is our smoked provolone. We're just gonna place it around in some empty space. Only like five pieces. Maybe six. He has smoked the provolone. Tell me that doesn't look good, guys. If I had mac and cheese, I don't have mac and cheese made, so I can't do that today. But we can do like a we can do like a, a stoner pizza stream again. We did one not that long ago, right? We did a stoner pizza stream not that long ago. Sausage broccoli rob pizza. Okay, it's about to go in the oven. Garlic and oil, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Gotta have extra virgin olive oil and garlic, right? In we go. Pizza number five. Okay. Flame is hot, but we don't want it too hot. So once it goes in, I'm gonna turn the flame down a little bit, just a little bit, okay? And that way the cheese and the broccoli robber doesn't burn. Ringo, stop barking. Everything is fine, it's just me. I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry, everything's okay. Butter chicken pizza, I've seen it recently. I do love buffalo chicken pizza. I do love buffalo chicken pizza. We did it not that long ago. We did it not that long ago. Back in mid-month, which was the last time we streamed. I'm gonna give it a little more heat now. Ringo, you just gotta be cute, bud. Maybe you've gotten uncute in your old age. I know what you want. <laughs> Barbecue chicken pizza with sweet baby rays. So this is Neo Neapolitan. Neapolitan pizza, 90 seconds. Neo Neapolitan pizza, two to three minutes. A little bit crisper crust, a little bit less puffy, but still with the blistering. That's what we want to sell. We want Neo Neapolitan pizza, okay? We want Neo Neapolitan. That's our style that we're going for. We take the all the goodness of the classic Neapolitan pizza, we kind of mix it with uh, Italian American and American influence, and bam, 
Neo-Neapolitan, or sometimes known as nearly Politan pizza, right? Shielding some of the darker parts from the heat here. We're getting real close. Where are my plates at? This one smells so good. <laughs> this one smells really, really good. I thought I had plates out. Apparently I do not. This one has a more of like a wood fire look, like a brick oven pizza, not a Neapolitan. Oh, it has a little bit of Neapolitan in it. A little bit of Neapolitan in it. A little bit darker crust. All right, a little bit of a darker crust. I think that's from the lower temperature we started at, so I gotta get it hotter. But that looks good and it smells good, right? This is more of your neighborhood wood fire pizza joint crust. It's a little bit darker, right? I like to have a little bit more leopardy contrast. So you guys see what I mean in the difference here? Roasted garlic would be great, yeah. See how this one's like a little more blonde and with the leopard, this one's just a little more darker all around. That's from the cook time. So I have to get the pizza oven hotter, okay? I'm gonna go take this picture and then we got one more pizza. The prosciutto, we have the Parma pizza, the prosciutto de Parma, arugula, shaved Parmesan. That's coming up next. It's a thing of beauty. Laura, I know Laura wants this one. Yeah, Laura wants this pizza. Ringo, stop. Oh, Ringo hears the dog next door. That's why he's barking. Ringo hears the dog next door. That's why he's barking. I see. They never stop over there. So this one, like, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't have the, the beauty of the other ones, but it's still a nice one. need to adjust the lighting. It needs to go on a lighter surface because I cooked it kind of well done. So it needs to go on the, the concrete surface here. Yeah. This one will look better. Bump up the F-stop a little bit. Make sure it's drop it down. This one needs like a different, different shot. Give me one second guys, I'm trying to get like an artsy Four shot of this sausage broccoli rob because it just didn't come out as good as the other ones. but I think I got a cool shot of it anyway. Long live the queen. <laughs> Mofau papi. Laura's the queen, man. Charleston Platt's food truck is the queen. All right, I think I got a couple cool shots of this one. Thank you for following, Miss Choppies. Thank you for following, Miss Choppies. We got one more pizza coming. And I gotta run these to the restaurant in a couple hours. So, 
How many do we have right now? Five? And we got all this leftover <clears throat> toppings to make pizzas later, Lara. Lara, we can make a whole nother sausage of broccoli rob pizza fresh later, which is awesome. And we shall. I wish I could carry five pizzas, right? These are our white pies, beauteous things. I want a picture of all these pizzas. I'm gonna have to go on the roof for that. All right, this is our Parma pizza, burrata, which I don't have. We're gonna use fresh mozzarella. Yeah, good thing I have the boxes, true. Burrata, we're gonna use fresh mozzarella. Arugula, prosciutto di Parma, garlic and oil, shaved parm and garlic base. Okay, I can do that. I just hope this dough is good enough. This bottom dough has kind of gotten away from me. So I hope we're able to use it. Lay them out in your arms, waitress style? I know. There's no one, nah, we'll be all right. I'll get it. I'll figure it out. I do have a different lens that I'm gonna switch to. I have a different lens I'm gonna switch to. 22 millimeter. as opposed to the nifty 50 I'm using now. This bottom though is the one that's like overproofing, so it doesn't want to stretch. So I hope I can save this one last pizza here because this is the one I really want to get a picture of. So the bottom dough, the 48 hour was not as good and it doesn't want to stretch as much, like at all. And I can't figure out why it wants to turn into a football. It's kind of strange. but hopefully we can get it good enough. I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's like the dough does not want to move into a circle. It wants to go oblong. No pal Poppy says, for anybody who doesn't know, this is the pizza queen. Who is the pizza queen? I gotta know. What's my favorite bread? My favorite bread is like a French country loaf that I make. So it's like a rustic, kind of, it looks like all those sourdough loaves you see, but not sourdough. I like yeast bread. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of sourdough. It's okay. Overrated, but still really good. So I like country style breads, hard crust, dark bake, like tartine bread, that's what I bake. Salt bread emo in the chat actually guys. Salt bread emo in the chat. That's a loaf that we baked I think. So I'm trying to get this into a circle. Yes B Dean, I'll get to you in one second if I can try to save this last piece of dough here that doesn't wanna stretch. So when it doesn't wanna stretch, you kinda gotta do this, which sucks. but we'll get it to work. And that we did. It's gonna be a smaller pizza, but it'll be okay. So B. Dean Cow, the last one kind of looks like the other white pie, but a little more crispy, is the sausage and broccoli rob pizza. That's our sausage and broccoli rob pizza. So this one's a little more well done, right? A little more crispy crust, which I think it needs because there's so much topping on it, right? So it kind of kind of worked out really well for us here. Did you buy the dough? Are you kidding me? You're not being serious, are you? Why would I live stream myself making pizza with store-bought dough? <laughs> it's like, that would be like equivalent to live streaming. Be like, hey guys, today we're featuring pasta on the stream. And then you make pasta dishes using store-bought pasta. That's cheap, that's cheap. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're making pasta on stream. Let's take this store-bought spaghetti. Why would I want to watch that? <laughs> Pies today are good, BD and Cal. No, I make everything from scratch on this stream, Chalks. Everything is from scratch. Everything. Always. Sometimes I don't make my own vanilla extract, okay? Because sometimes the tears of Tibetan monks, I can't get. 
to be available. And in that case, store-bought vanilla extract, just fine, all right?
You know what I want to do? Do you guys mind if I do this? What's that say, Twisted? Time the what? Time the box? I kind of want to make another sausage and broccoli rob pizza to like, because I know we're going to want to eat that here. Do you guys mind if I make another sausage and broccoli rob pizza? While this cools, because I can't put a hot pizza on top of this. This has to cool down. Do it, you won't. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. You guys cool with that? Now it's gonna be with the tricky dicky dough, okay? It's gonna be with that tricky dicky dough, the one that's not not acting not acting a fool, right? Or it is acting a fool. That's all right. If you ship it to me, Claire, if there is a way to do it, Claire, I would be all over it. I would be, this would be my job. I would just be shipping pizzas. I think I'd be able to make a living shipping pizzas. So I think they're good looking enough and they taste really good, I promise. Taste first, look second, right? I would totally ship to all you guys if I could. Just have coffee go up my sinus channel. Glad it wasn't hot, Saber. <laughs> Dear Lord, be careful, my friend. Speaking of coffee, let's get some in this pie hole here. Guys, I wish I could tell you when the next stream is. I'm hoping Margarita Monday becomes a thing. I would love. You see this? The pizza, like this side doesn't want to become a circle. It's so strange with this dough. I don't know what's different about it, but the one side does not want to be round. I, um, I want to do Margarita Mondays where I bring this bad boy or buy the Gosney Dome, right? Our bit fun guys is for a Gosney Dome big Gosney dome. I want to bring it to work and put it on our patio and every Monday be out on our patio cooking pizzas. Margarita Monday for promotions. I can live stream that. That's already like almost a given, like already approved, but I got to get a Gosney dome first, right? Cause I can't do it with this uni too small. I need the Gosney dome. So once we get to our big goal and get that Gosney dome, we will, we will be doing Margarita Monday afternoon streams around this time from the restaurant every Monday. Or six unis, yeah. One dome would be better. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get this pizza to work so I can keep one of these sausage of broccoli robs for Lara. See how it just wants to become, look, it just wants to become like a flatbread. It does not wanna become a pizza. I don't know why, but this was the 48 hour dough. They taste amazing. Can't wait to go to work. Miss Choppies, who are you? I have to figure out who Miss Choppies is. It's one of my coworkers. So that means I should go to work at what time, Miss Choppies? Like three o'clock with these pizzas? That'll give me enough time to clean. But this dough doesn't want to stretch. This is going to be tough. This will be for us. This will be for me and Laura since it's not stretching. It'll be the ugly duckling. Hello, Hentalia. Oh, see, it's tearing. This dough doesn't want to stretch. So the 48-hour dough kind of having some problems. The 72-hour has been amazing today. Don't worry, I'll show you guys how to fix that. It's not old. This is the 48-hour dough. I'll fix the hole. It's been out all day. Yeah. So I'll show you guys how to fix that hole. Get some stretch on this side. So this one's gonna be one of those pizzas that you see on like mom blogs where it's like, don't worry if it's in a perfect circle. All you do is pinch it closed and that's it. So now I have two ugly ass pizzas. It's rustic, exact, Vin Amanda knows. Don't worry if it's not, don't worry if it's the shape of a football, it's rustic. So this is gonna be a square pizza. So I'll just make this one a, I'm gonna make this one a flatbread. I'm gonna make this one a flatbread, right? We're gonna do a long Roman style pizza. Since for some reason this dough and the other one just don't wanna work. Very strange. But at least we got all six in that we need it, right?
And then after this, guys, we'll go ahead and box up and do the photos on the uh, on the other one. So we'll take our broccoli rob here. Sometimes broccoli rob is formal, and it likes to go by broccoli robber. Where's my sausage at? So we're gonna tear our sausage to make it, we're gonna stretch it out here. We're gonna rip the sausage, guys. We're gonna pull it, yanking meat. This is Laura's very own. Okay, a little bit of flake salt. A little bit of fresh mozzarella. Wait, Geek Boy, what did I miss? Did I miss a joke? Big Black Wolf, oh, I just seen a gift of the sub from Twisted Freedom. Yeah, man, welcome to the subs. Welcome to the subs. We're making some sexy pizza pies here. I'm a crepe, I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't oblong here? No, that doesn't work. I'll boot myself out. Since we have an oblong pizza. No, no, okay. A little bit of Parmesan. There it is. This is our donut. <laughs> All right, this is our oblong pizza. So this is our Roman style, right? Take a look, okay? We're doing our Roman style kind of flatbread here. This could be cool. Take a look. Who cares if it's not a perfect shape? Are we still gonna get a beautiful pizza? I think so. I think so, big baller, big ball of yarn. A little bit of ground pepper on this one, baby. Give me some of that pepper. Give me some of that extra virgin. Here we go. It's the best attitude, Oscar. Damn right. In we go, and then we're gonna turn down the heat. We're gonna turn down the heat here a little bit. Longer cook. See if we can save this dough. Actually, no, we can't. We're gonna have to use this one. This is the dried out dough, right? That wouldn't stretch last time. It's dried out. We're still gonna use it. We'll make something. Where's my turning peel? Man, we got some sexy pies. We got some sexy pies. Chili oil on this one? I think so, we'll let, we'll let Laura put it on if she wants it. I've never made a Roman pizza in here. I'm kind of excited. And it's looking kind of really good. See this one, it's all dried out. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna make a tomato pie. That's my favorite. I'm gonna make a tomato pie with this one, another tomato pie, that'll be my lunch. This Roman pizza, I'm out of garlic. I'm out of garlic, I know. We have the cheese and garlic over here though. over here cleaning up, licking up the floor. Oh, we used a lot of it cooking yesterday. We made a garlic sauce for pasta yesterday. So we used like 40 cloves of garlic. And I didn't go food shopping today. I went shopping for this stream last night. Yeah, look at our little Roman style pizza for lunch. 
What's up, drunk cooking? I love to see steak. Hey, next time. Next time. Look at this little Roman pizza. Little Roman pizza. It's beautiful. Right? Ooh, woo. <laughs> All right, quick tomato pie for lunch. Quick tomato pie for lunch. This is that really old dough. It's dry, it's been sitting out for like an hour. So we're gonna make a quick tomato pie for me. Yeah, let's see. I don't think it's gonna bubble up as much, right? I don't think it's gonna bubble as much because of the dryness. You could do a Philly cheesesteak pizza. Uh, you guys are gonna have to make me make drunk. You guys know the only way I'm making stoner pizza is when it's sponsored menus. I don't enjoy doing cheesesteak pizzas. We are doing real Italian food, right? We're doing real Italian food. Cheesesteak pizza, we're not a pizza place. We're an, we're an upscale, refined Italian restaurant. So I don't wanna be doing cheesesteak pizzas and shit. Oh no, oh no. That does not, we don't have any of that, right? None of that. So now we're gonna go around with our tomato sauce on top of the cheese. That's like drunk food that I'd make at home for fun on stream, but never in the restaurant, right? That's like Hungry Howie's, Domino's, like Max Pizza, bar and grill down the street. That's not for me. I like a saucy pie, guys. Really need that pizza oven, exclamation point uni in the chat. If you guys are serious about pizza, exclamation point uni, get it there. Quick tomato pie, one more tomato pie. I'm curious to see if this will actually puff up. And then we got to, uh, how to clean. This has been an awesome stream today. Oh yeah, ribeye, I mean, now I'm not saying. Fruit de Mara pizza, Fruit de Mara pizza is on the menu. I just haven't gotten my first paycheck from work yet, so I am broke. So I didn't buy the calamari today. But we could be doing, a, we are doing a seafood pizza. We are doing a seafood pizza at the restaurant, like a Fruit de Mara, yes. Or a calamari. Salmon pizza for Blue House was looking good, yeah. So these tomato pies, Trenton slash New Jersey style pizza, they take longer, lower temperature. I went back to work. Yes. Well, this is only my fourth stream of the month, Blue House uh, Strikes. Only my fourth stream. We're trying to get streams into the restaurant so I can be cooking pizzas for you guys. But I gotta get the Gosney dome first. So we're gonna keep streaming like once or twice a week to get to our big goal, get that dome, then at least once a week outside. If not, four, four days a week maybe, right? Lunchtime, pizzas outside would be really cool. So this is our thin crust pizza. So it'll be coming, it'll be coming. Diablo, yeah, little Diablo pizza. What kind of work? I'm a chef, geek boy. I know people think I'm just saying I'm a chef because I cook on Twitch, but that doesn't qualify you as a chef. My profession for the last quarter of a century, 25 years, you know, restaurants, chef. That's what I do for work. I am a chef by trade. Yeah, they said it was great. They said it was great faster. I mean, so much so that I'm, you know, Twitch was impressed enough to give me another, another job. You know, on the front page. So guys, we're gonna be on the front page December 8th doing another product stream, right? Another product stream. Showcasing something delicious. Got my non-alcoholic Heineken Zero. Zero alcohol, only 69 calories. Cold, crisp, refreshing. So this is our Trenton tomato pie part two. This is the thin and crispy version, guys. 
This is the thin and crispy version, right? Kirshi, good to see you. Broccoli Pillager, good to see you. On the eighth, you get to choose what you cook. Not sure yet, Twisted, but not really. It's gotta be like snacky, which is unfortunate. I think it's gotta be like snacky. So I gotta do some research because I'm not really a snack cookie guy, you know? But it doesn't mean I can't do it. Miko, 13 months on the board. I'm gonna turn the oven off. I'm gonna turn off the oven and let the pizza sit on the stone. 13 months from Miko. Let's get some hype in the chat. Okay, so this is off now. We're just letting the we're just letting the cheese bubble up. We'll bring inside the outdoor microphone. So because we let this sit on the stone a little longer, we get a crispier pizza. And that's just our tomato pie. So that's my lunch. That's my snack while I do some food editing, right? But you can see by, by stretching the dough and leaving it out, it's thin crust, right? Because all the carbon dioxide escapes from the dough. So it's a thin crust pizza. We have to, we have to, we have to do one more thing, guys. We have to do one more thing. We gotta top. We gotta top our prosciutto de Parma pizza. We're gonna get a little overhead view for that. We're gonna top our prosciutto de Parma pizza. I got all those pizzas back there. Oh, look at this one. This is my lunch. You keep your eyes off my lunch. Let's clean up. And then I can give you guys a look at all the pizzas today, right? Faster. Exclamation point thick. Exclamation point thick, please. TH. Wow. Yeah, they're all fine. I just don't think you know the commands. <laughs> Look at all these pizzas we made. Oh, when I was on front page? Yeah, I can't do that on the front page. I can't do that on the front page. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta, I can't do that on the front page. You guys loving this? Look at these pizzas, Creative Kate. Hi, Creative Kate. <laughs> All right, let's build the, let's build our, our pizza here. Arugula, prosciutto, right? Yeah, these are some nice pies. It looks like we're at a pizza restaurant, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like we're at a pizza restaurant? It's pretty awesome. All right, so this one gets arugula. Don't cover that beautiful leopard crust though. All right. Wait, this isn't a pizza restaurant? I know. Ringo, please move, bud. This is like our last pizza. Let me just get through this, okay? If you guys find yourself in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, come on and get some pizza. All right. All right, arugula is down. Ring. <laughs> prosciutto, right? It's only a matter of time before his nose picks it up. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> He's so cute, right? So this is very thinly shaved prosciutto. 
guys, we're gonna turn it into like prosciutto roses. All right, so prosciutto roses, if it's really thin, all you do to do a prosciutto rose is put it down, a flower, right? You put it down and then you just turn it as you lower it, right? So like this. All you do is put it down and turn it as you lower it and it makes this beautiful kind of flowered like appearance. Okay. God, I, I think prosciutto might be like one of my favorite things in the world to eat. I love prosciutto. I used to get prosciutto and roasted pepper sandwiches at Basio's Deli in Lawrenceville, New Jersey when I was in college because it was right down the street. Basio's Deli, Lawrenceville, New Jersey, right down the road from my college, Lawrenceville, Princeton, New Jersey. And it was so good all the time. The Broccoli Rob is your favorite. Broccoli Rob is here. What are your guys' favorites? Let me know in chat. So I'll go over them for you all in one second. We have the Trenton, New Jersey tomato pie. That's my favorite all time. The classic margarita, right? Broccoli Robin sausage is here. Kind of has the darker crust. This white pie is our ricotta and spinach. This is the calabrese, which is like the soprasada, hot honey, chili oil, olives. And now we have the Parma, which is the arugula, the prosciutto de Parma, right? The prosciutto de Parma, the arugula. Burrata will go right in the middle. And then balsamic, right? I like the spinach one. This is my favorite one today. Looking at least, my favorite looking at least. Calabrese, yeah, it's beauty. It's a beauty, beautiful thing. I gotta make some of this fresh mozzarella look like burrata for the picture. So let's see if I can mound it into a ball. So it looks like burrata, right in the middle, like that. Oh, you didn't know. Subhype Whiskey Monster, five months, what's up? How have you been, girl? Welcome. We're just finishing up. It's so thick. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's get the good Parmesan. Man, I got so much prosciutto to eat. I got so much prosciutto to eat. Nobody out pizzas the hut, <laughs> but Salty does. Yo, I love that. Nobody out pizzas the hut, but me. Let's get that good, good. Parmigiano Reggiano, all right? Long strips. Now, if your family does this, the Parmigiano, get mad at them, all right? Absurd. But we're gonna get strips of the Parmesan. Then we're gonna break it. So we want large, like, shreds of this Parmesan, okay? Some of it flipping up, some of it flipping down. This is a sexy ass pizza. And then we're gonna put the Vin Cotto or your balsamic reduction on top. Probably the kids, Whiskey Monster. Probably the kids. Probably the kids. So I'm gonna bring this outside and put the balsamic glaze on right before I take the picture, okay? 
right before I take the picture. We got to get this bit goal ASAP. I know it, BD and Cal. I want to be able to do this with you guys. It's going to be awesome. Now, this is like six pizzas from our menu, right? This is six pizzas from our menu, five pizzas from our menu. We have seven, plus there's going to be the salty specials. Probably picked by you guys at the restaurant. How fucking cool, right? Margarita Mondays. So let me go outside and get this picture. Let me get my Vin Cotto, AKA. It looks just like balsamic reduction, but it's called Vin Cotto. I'm gonna go take this picture. Guys, watch my pizzas. Watch my pizzas. I'm gonna take a couple pictures before and after so I don't, in case the Vin Cotto ruins it. All right, I'm bringing up my chat out here. I only got 16% battery. Chat with me, boys and girls. I got about five minutes left with you. This looks so damn good. It really does look good. Give me one second, my chat out here froze. I'm reopening Twitch. I'm reopening Twitch now. Do you guys have fun today? Next week on my day off, guess what I'm gonna be streaming, guys? We're gonna be trying out some more pizzas for the menu. All right, so we're gonna have pizza streams at least once a week, but I would try to get two to three streams in a week. And then I would love to be streaming from work. I think you guys would love being at work with me. Then maybe some gaming streams, right? Maybe. balsamic on there balsamic drizzle and then we're done here normally I don't like the way the balsamic drizzle looks it looks really nice on this pizza right it doesn't look 90s it actually looks sexy here and we're good to go. Oh my god. So you guys think my co-workers are going to like me? Usually when there's a new boss, nobody likes a new boss, right? And they get to eat all this today. <laughs> 